Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I went back in time and ordered a few of the Deck of Scarlets that I didn't have. So basically when Deck of Scarlet came out, they had multiple palettes. I think I came in around palette three, somewhere around there. So anyways, I thought, well, I like to collect things um, or I like to collect makeup. So, you know, let's go back in time. So the palette back in time, it was a double zero. It was from Kelly Strack. Really love her as a YouTuber. She's adorable and she's made me purchase products. That's all I gotta say to that one. So this is what the original Deck of Scarlet palette looked like. So they've evolved over time. It once again has the double sides. So we've got the two lippies. And then if you lift up this side, it has a cream blush, which I've not seen in any of the other palettes unless the 01 has it cream blush and then i've not seen them do um, another contour color so this is the first time i've seen the contour unless that's in the next one that i'm going to play with so that's kind of odd they did come with an eye and lip pencil which i thought was cool now as far as the colors go i did use that as my transition color i got into the brown the brown, all of these colors work good until I got to the green and the green was really patchy. So I tried to kind of put the green over the brown in hopes that it hid the patchiness, which was a bummer. And then this one had a lot of fallout. So, you know, it is what it is. But overall, like today, I'm going to be traveling. I've got different business appointments set up. So this little thing will slide right into my purse and if I have to touch up anything, I've got it with me. So that's what I like about the Deck of Scarlet is they give you a full face and you just throw it in your purse and you can touch up whatever you want throughout the day, which I think technically is brilliant. I do like the fact that they separate the lips from the eyes, so that's nice. It's got a nice little mirror on the inside, which is fantastic. So again, I really like the Deck of Scarlet subscription. It's like every other month. And, you know, they just put together some really neat colors that sometimes you know, I've looked at and I thought, oh, I would have never thought about putting those colors together. But then you're kind of, when it's all in a palette, you're encouraged to use the colors together. And how can you come up with an eye look that will work with it? And so for me, that's fun. Now, for some people that might be overwhelming, but you know, when it's right there in front of you, it's kind of like back in the day with those clothes that had, was it called Garanimals? Where you, if you had a little zebra on your shirt, you matched it to a zebra on your pants and that helped kids learn how to match stuff. So Deck of Scarlet might be the Garanimals of makeup. Hmm, anyhow. So if you wanna see how I came up with this eye and cheek look, and again, this is probably the first time I've ever used cream blush. It was an interesting time. Actually, trying to put on my makeup today, I felt like I was all left-handed with a bunch of toes for fingers instead of even thumbs. I mean, it was, it was just a day. So let's hope the rest of my day goes much better than trying to apply makeup because yeah, I just, I had it everywhere except for where it was supposed to be. Anyways, if you want to see my craziness, then, you know, stay okay, this tuned. morning, well, not this morning, but I went back and purchased a couple of the Deck of Scarlet palettes that I did not have. And the first one was from Kelly Strack. And this is palette number 00, I believe says Kelly's like your best girlfriend with out of this world makeup skills with her sexy yet approachable style. We're thrilled to have um, her introduce you to Decca Scarlet. And she's actually one of my favorite YouTubers. So she's just cute. And she does some great transformations. So her colors look like this. I have not used a cream blush yet, so we'll see how this goes. And it sounds like there is a gardener outside at a neighbor's house, which is not making my dachshund very happy. I'm not sure how to apply a cream blush. I'm just gonna put some on my finger. Ooh, I really don't know how to apply it. Okay, and I had just powdered my face. 
I didn't realize this was cream. I don't think I'm in a cream blush. I'm glad this was one of their first ones and I'm glad they didn't have cream blushes after this that I know of, or at least when I started. Okay, I'm not into creamblushes.com forward slash, not my thing. And this doesn't really look like a highlighter, which most of them are, so I'm guessing that might be, <laughs> oh goodness, Amy. I'm guessing that might have been a contour. Well, I guess I need to do that to the other side now, right? <laughs> that must have been a contour. I think I would have been a little scared if this one would have came to me for the first one instead of the ones I got when I joined later. Now it does give a long wearing lip liner called Oh So Nude. Okay, let's try some nude. Okay, that lip liner was not creamy. Again, this was out a while ago, so I'm guessing just because this is an older palette maybe. I don't know. So I'm going to flip over to this little guy right here. You, ew, use my finger. Holy mackerel, I've made a mess. Ah! Okay, you would think after watching me try to put on the eyeliner, and, or not even eyeliner, shoot. Whatever I've been trying this morning is the first time I've ever used my face. Okay, so that's creamy. And it feels kind of nice because it is still winter. And having, you know, something creamy on my lips because they're a little dry right now feels kind of nice. I'll have to take that with me today because I do have some appointments. So I'm going to want to touch up. That's the bad part about creamy lipsticks in my opinion. And you know you want my opinion. Okay, so even though this is supposed to be, I think, a contour, we're going to start it out as our transition shade. And you may continue to hear chuffing in the background because Rusty is not excited with whoever is doing the neighbor's lawn. And that's the part that I do miss about Georgia is... We couldn't see our neighbors. Like, we had 1,700 acres around us that was the Boy Scout camp. It was pretty quiet for the most part. So, yeah, it's a little harder being in a subdivision where you can hear a neighbor's lawn being mowed. I'm just not used to that. I missed the Wilsons in Georgia. Hi, Wilsons. Okay, so I'm going to pick up this brown color and we're going to go a little bit deeper into our crease. You know what? I'm going to grab some tape. Because today it seems like I have no skill. Well, I don't have any skill, but like I don't have skill at all. It's the first time I've ever put on makeup, it seems like. So we're just not going to give myself an opportunity to really screw up. All right, here we go. This is like a nice little light mocha or, well, you can't see into my coffee. Yeah, look, it's like my coffee. And this mug is my Reg. So my Reg was my 130 pound Rhodesian Ridgeback mastiff mix and he passed away and so i get to have coffee anyways with reg he was a mama's boy oh oh was he a mama's boy he would come to the edge of the hallway at nine between nine and nine thirty every night and start whining and if i didn't get up then he would start barking because 
he wanted to go to bed and he would lay on my side of the bed and that way he could lay on his pillow, which was next to my pillow, and I could rub his back every night. All right, so we're gonna pick up some of this green. So yeah, Reg had me wrapped around his big paw is all I have to say. So when Reg showed up, he showed up on Christmas Eve. Again, we lived in the middle of nowhere and he was emaciated. I think he was about 80 pounds when we got him. So again, he gained, uh, he got up to 130 healthy. And we tried to find who his owners were, no luck there. And so we kept him outside in the beginning to feed him and it didn't take him long to woo my heart. And so he came in and he enjoyed, which I am a retirement home for these pups. He just enjoyed living life to the fullest. We used to be able to sit and watch a sunset from our back deck and he would, he actually dug himself a hole on top of a ridge so he could lay in the hole and put his head on the edge of the ground and watch the sunset or he'd just go down and watch the sunset sitting normal. Ooh, look at that. I didn't tape it down good. Ooh, Lord. Um, so anyways, that was his, he loved watching sunsets with us. And then when he got too sick, cause he got cancer in his leg, he would sit on the upper back deck with us and watch the sunsets cause he was too tired to go below and so a lot of my Georgia sunsets remind, reminded me of him. In fact, I think one of the pictures on here, no, I lied. Um, I thought one of the pictures on there was him looking at the sunsets. He was so cute and protective. Nobody was gonna mess with his mama. All right, I've been kind of into a little bit of a half cut crease this week. I don't know why. It's just a mood I'm in. This is actually kind of a nice, pretty, light look. Which for some reason my makeup has been that way lately. Scary. I know. This um, green is kind of patchy, which is kind of sad. Had I, to be honest, had I bought this for this one as a first palette from Decca Scarlet, I don't know that I would have kept the subscription. The quality on these eyeshadows are, like I said, that green is really patchy. I think for me, if I would have received this one, I wouldn't have kept the subscription going because it would have been too far out of my comfort zone. But to be honest with you, I really do like the Deck of Scarlet as a subscription. It just puts together some nice colors. You can take the palette. Like today, I'll be, you know, going on some appointments. Um, so I plan on taking the palette with me so that if I need to touch up while I'm out, I can. The other thing with this one that seems to be a little different than the rest of the palettes is this one seems to have a lot more fallout for whatever reason than some of the other ones I've used. So to have a lot of fallout and patchiness is not, it's not ideal. But that's a really nice color right there. Drive Cosmetics, I think is the eyeliner I'm gonna use today. Cause they have one called Lizzie, which is that army green. Okay, very glad the guy doing the blowing or lawn mowing or whatever he's doing has stopped because now Rusty seems to be happy again. And my life revolves around my dog's happiness. Okay, we're gonna take that green on a little flat brush and smudgy out the li color Lizzie. They sent one, it's called um, Lust and Chocolate but I obviously wore the green because that seemed more fun. 
So I'm going to go ahead and apply some Scandinavia. Scandinavia. I don't know. What is it called? Scandinavia. Hmm. To um, set the makeup in place. And now we are going to grab the Marc Jacobs. Ouch. I'm cracking up. It's seriously not my day. I hope the rest of my day isn't as fun as this one. The, I don't, I hope the rest of my day is fun and not as comedic as me trying to put on makeup that, yeah, I'm just struggling today. I'm just struggling. The struggle is real. Oh my God, the struggle is real. I just need to crawl back in bed. All right, so do you guys like this sexy little birthmark I made? I'm trying a new trend. Make a little birthmark on your nose so that you can look saucy in the new millennium. Sweet baby Jesus above. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry while I'm doing my hair, and then once it dries, it'll flick off easy, but Man, what a day trying to put on makeup. Like, what the heck? It's been a comedy of errors. Anyways, I'm going to go get ready and we'll go from Thank there. Thank you so much for watching my video today. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a great one. Until next time.